Mike, thanks for joining us. There have been bills to legalize in Indiana, and they've gone nowhere. Is there anything different going into 2022? Well, we wanted to put a stake in the ground and say that we are the party that is really advocating for this issue in Indiana. This is an incredibly popular issue. 80% of Hoosiers favor some uh, form of legalization, either full recreational use or medicinal use for people across the state. Um, it's a really popular issue, and we've spent uh, really most of the summer and fall talking about popular issues and how Democrats are delivering for folks. So this one is no different, and we really think that it needs to be part of the conversation for the upcoming General Assembly. Do you think leaders in the Indiana GOP or even the governor would go along with this? I'm not sure. They've been hesitant in the past, obviously, but I think what we've seen over the last few months is uh, members of both parties, former and current legislators start to come out uh, for this issue. And one of the biggest reasons why I think that's the case is Indiana is losing out. So legalization, recreational use is allowed in Michigan to our north, as we know, in Michigan, um, also over in Illinois, uh, full recreational use. Medicinal use is allowed in Ohio. And right now, Kentucky is considering medicinal use with their legislature. So Indiana, it could be said is going to be an island um, and a lot of our money, a lot of our jobs, a lot of the competition is going to be going out of the Hoosier state when I think that uh, folks of both parties should be taking a look at keeping those jobs and keeping that revenue right here at home. And according to numbers released just this week, Michigan sold more than $128 million worth of marijuana in October alone. Has the Democratic Party evaluated what the impact of legalization would mean in Indiana? You know, we haven't directly, but um, I've seen those stories as well. And I think dispensaries and businesses in southern Michigan have said that some of their customer base is up to 60% Hoosiers, 60% people uh, from Indiana. Over in Illinois, I believe that the figure is about $10 million per month uh, of lost revenue um, from Indiana uh, to Illinois. And so we are um, leaving money really on the table when this could be safely regulated. This would be available in communities. This is popular with all segments of the Hoosier population. Doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter um, the color of your skin, um, doesn't matter your job, doesn't matter your age. Um, lots and lots of people are supportive of this issue. And what we're asking is that legislators of both parties in Indianapolis take a look at it and take a serious look at it. Even across the border in our portion of Michigan, in Southwest Michigan, there have been communities that have been very slow to allow either uh, zoning for marijuana dispensaries or they've just been worried about societal ills. Uh, what do you say to folks who say, okay, maybe it becomes legal in Indiana, but I don't want to see these businesses in my town? You know, I think that becomes a, an issue that is addressed on a local uh, basis and sort of a case by case basis based on the communities, um, you know, that are, are trying to bring those businesses into into their area. Um, so I think it'll be on a case by case basis. But what I would tell those folks is also the alternative, um, I think, is a big detriment, and that is uh, continued and heightened opioid use. There's a lot of studies out there that say medicinal use of marijuana actually will curb the use of opioids uh, over time. So we'll limit people from using uh, harder drugs. I would also say that this is a win for um, our farmers and, and growers and people who would literally have a cash crop um, to put in the ground for years ahead and make a lot of money and a good living um, you know, with marijuana legalization. Um, and, and the other thing that I think is really important that sometimes gets lost in the conversation is this is a criminal justice uh, and equity issue that um, simple possession um, can really kind of put uh, somebody's life on the wrong uh, trajectory. And a huge majority of Hoosiers, 78%, um, support decriminalization of marijuana. And so that's an issue that also breaks through the rural-urban divide uh, and is just frankly popular with people. All right, Mike Schmuel, he's the chair of the Indiana Democratic Party, which is now pushing to legalize marijuana in the state. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.